Alright, let's solve this question. Uh, so before that, you have to try to, uh, to solve it before you look at my solution. Okay. Uh, so find the values of A and B, right? Values of A and B. Uh, so I have to add the words, find the values of A and B. Uh, and given that A and B are real, alright? Uh, are real means that they are real number, okay? It's not an imaginary number. So how to solving this? So of course, definitely I will look at this equation. Uh, this equation. So this equation giving me that a minus three i squared, right? Uh, a minus three. Usually I will try to expand this part first. Okay. Uh, this is uh, I can't do anything for this, so I have to solving this part here. Uh, before that, I I just expand this part okay, here first. So I have a minus three i, a minus three i. Uh, so do it slowly. And a and a will be a to the power of two. A and A to be A to the power of 2, followed by negative 3 AI, right? Negative 3 AI and negative 3 AI, uh, followed by negative, negative, positive 3 times 3, you have 9I to the power of 2. Uh, if very familiar with I to the power of 2, I to the power of 2 is negative 1, negative 1, right? Uh, negative 3A, these two are like them, right? Negative 3, negative 3a, so you get negative 6ai, right? Uh, negative 3a, negative 3a, so negative 6ai. And this will be, you know that i squared, uh, i squared will be negative 1. So you use your knowledge, so i squared negative 1, you're getting negative 9. So, personally, I will usually group the real number in the form of a plus bi. So, uh, the real part will be a squared minus 9, this is your real part. And your imaginary part, uh, this is a complex number with real and imaginary part. Okay, so now I have this for my left hand side here. Okay, uh, for my left hand side, and I'm getting this. So now I'm going to taking this, this one equal to this, means that this one also equal to this, right? So, means the next part of the solution here will be, I will taking this whole thing, this one equal to this one, as you know that this one after... You expand, you're getting this. So I can take in a square uh, minus with 9 minus with 6ai equals to 16 minus with bi. Right? Uh, so this is the correct way of doing. So later on, I I can do comparison. And now I can start to do comparison. Because you see that if we're using the equation, right? Equality of two complex numbers. Uh, if I have C plus DI, for example, if A plus BI is the same as C plus DI, right? Uh, A plus DI is the same as C plus DI, then I can say that the real part here, A will be the same as the C here. Uh, and definitely, and the B must be the same as the D. Uh, but the B must be the same as the D. So, when we compare the two complex numbers, right? we're going to use equality of two complex numbers here in solving this uh, equation here. So means now, you can see that this one is the one that without the i, it's a real part. So I can say that a squared minus 9 is the same as 16. Uh, 16. Right? Uh, so next, we know that negative 6a, the imaginary part, right? Uh, so negative 6a, you don't need to write the i because you know that the coefficient for i and the coefficient for i will be the same because they are equal. So it means that it's equal to negative b. Uh, negative 6a is equal to negative b for the imaginary part. So later on, we can solving this. Uh, we're getting a squared, right? a squared, a squared. You can say 16 plus 9, 16 plus 9, 16 plus 9 is 25 so a squared equals to 25 so definitely you will have two solutions for this right uh, a squared will be the positive negative of the square root of 25 so which will be a equals to positive negative 5 okay uh, you have two solutions here so definitely if you have two solutions for a then you will have two solutions for b okay two values for b so uh, from here negative 6a is negative b so means that uh, multiply negative both sides means that b will be 6a. Uh, so when a is positive 5, uh, when a is positive 5, your b will be 6 times 
5, you are getting the value of 30. Uh, so, when A is negative 5, your B will be 6 times negative 5, right? Uh, 6 times negative 5, you are getting negative 30. So, from here, clearly, you have two solutions. One is A is 5. When A is 5, D, uh, B is 30, right? And when A is negative 5, B will be negative 30 uh, by using the equality of two complex numbers, right? Uh, that's all for this uh, example.